My name is Joshua Wolabi, and this presentation is an adaptation of my perspective article entitled Virtualizing the School During COVID-19 and Beyond in Africa with emphasis on infrastructure, fidelity, resources, assessment, quality assurance, student support system, technology, culture, and best practices. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected life globally, including health, economy, and education. Virtualization, which is having virtual school, is now an option on the table globally. Why it is important or helpful to virtualize the school? The following should be given consideration. And first is infrastructure. A learning management system, LMS, is indispensable to having an ideal virtual learning environment. Teaching is another thing to consider. Pedagogy has to be carefully determined and strategically implemented. Rather than the monotonous, didactic, long hour sessions, big classes, team based learning, shorter lectures, videos, and media can be used. Teaching materials and resources should also be considered. This should be suitably adapted for online learning. Open education resources are available and they are free, and they can be repurposed suitably. This might be considered. Assessment should follow evidence-based practices and appropriate principles. Quality assurance is another important thing. It should ensure academic integrity. Student support system should be given adequate consideration. The online learning environment is peculiar. There is barely any form of physical contact. Most students will not support our troubled student. Institutions should be aware of this. Support system should be put in place and online presence is very important. Technology should support the virtual learning environment, especially the learning management system and every other program. It's important to cultivate an enabling virtual school culture. The way of mitigation in the older order of didactic classes, things happen within classroom and they end up there like a closed system. Now that the school is being virtualized, it's relatively open. Schools should be aware of this, also teachers, even learners. Moving forward, it's pragmatic to virtualize the school, but quality assurance should be put in place. Regulation is important and standards should be met. I want to conclude on this note. Why I have a quote from the article here. I want to conclude by saying, virtual school has a structure and culture. So institutions should develop these in a structure. 